so topic name is conditional statement as i said we have not yet finished operators but since some of the operators are having relation with conditional statement so we have to uh, first understand conditional statement and then we have to understand uh, about those operators first is why should we know conditional statement what is the significance of it uh, currently we are writing the program we are executing we are showing the output also we don't have any issue why should we learn conditional statement okay so uh, basically when a particular statement you are writing let's say you wrote console dot uh, write line you wrote console dot write line inside this you wrote within double code something hello or welcome so when i'm writing welcome basically it is displaying only one time okay it will display only one time welcome on the screen absolutely because it will come from top to bottom it will display one time then i display some other sentence let's say hello just to understand why should somebody go for conditional statement i wrote here hello suppose now if i'm writing hello then obviously uh it will be uh you know displaying both the sentences welcome as well as hello okay it will not let me display one out of two suppose my condition is like if so and so thing happens display welcome if so and so things not happens display hello if that is the case then definitely i will fail in this situation whatever programming as of now we got you know go and as of now you execute in that case we cannot say that hey if situation is matching display this if situation is not matching display this if situation is something else display both of this so this kind of situations we cannot do as of now whatever we have the knowledge right so when we say conditionally do either this or that then we have to go for something called conditional statement so there are various conditional statements available for example first is if else statement second is multi level if else statement third is multiple statement inside multiple statement that is called nested conditional statement or nested if statement we will see one by one what are they and what is the best way to use them one is called switch case statement after understanding at least if else statement we can go back to our yesterday's topic operators and relational operator logical operator and ternary operator at least we can continue which we are not able to continue now but after completing this again we will continue our other statement like multi level nested switch case one we have ternary operator condition which is considered under the operator itself it sometimes consider under conditional statement also so that will be the systematic way of understanding it so let's first proceed what is this if else condition all about as like in our english we use if else statement right for example you are talk talking somebody that hey if i am going to market uh, i will purchase a new book for you if by chance i am not going nearby library is there i will get it from library for you that means at the end of the day you are expecting a book but you don't know whether it will come from library or you don't know whether it will come from the market as a new book so that condition dependent upon whether new book or library book what condition whether i am going to market or not so that sentence you are writing if i am going to market i will purchase a new book 
else i will purchase i will get a library book right so in general english also we used to have if and else in between in general english also we used to have if and else in between so same thing in a programmatic manner we have to write here to manage these two sentences or any sentences so for example i will say if i am getting 50 or more i will pass else i will fail so that if and else is coming in english sentence also right so similar way here also we can do that so first is syntax of writing the program when we say syntax it is the grammatical part okay so grammar of writing a program just to remind you guys uh, if you have any doubt you have to raise the hand ask it i will clarify because i don't see the chat window again and again so don't put anything on the chat window so syntax is the grammar of the writing program so how to write if with a condition else with some other condition right so here we go suppose i will write here i did some spelling mistake s w i t c h switch case so if else condition syntax is just like this i will write if inside bracket i will write some condition this is not called a program guys this is called syntax syntax means only the algorithm part only the logic part okay so the way of writing program is syntax or grammar of writing program is syntax so here i will put some curly bracket i don't know whether this condition will be true or the condition will be false so if by chance the condition will be true then i am supposed to apply some condition and try it it so something like statement when condition will be true so it is just like for your understanding that's why we say it as syntax when the programmatic you know format will be given that time we'll say it as program so this time it is just grammatical part so give a condition here any condition if that condition becomes true whatever you are writing in this area that will be executed else else means otherwise this statement will be executed so should i copy paste it here and say a uh, statement when condition will be false statement when condition will be false now i wrote at the beginning either i want to display welcome or i want to display hello based on some condition like if x is plus positive number display welcome if x is negative number display hello so that can be a condition also so any condition that you want to apply you have to write it here and any statement you want to display or calculate that you have to write here okay so let's uh proceed with one program which is matching with this kind of conditional statement so question is accept marks from user okay accept marks from user assuming 50 as pass mark assuming 50 as pass marks display whether the student is pass or fail very simple simple condition my condition will be whether 50 or more and statement will be pass and else statement will be fail if you understood the syntax correctly so let's go to our visual studio and implement the answer for this particular question so this is operator right we will back to this because you have not yet finished operator some of the operators are dependent upon conditional statement that's why at the meantime we are learning the 
conditional statement so instead of closing this program i will minimize this right i will go for another visual studio solution to apply conditional statement so anywhere any kind of confusion you can just raise the hand i will clarify so let's go to a new project so you know in this new project what are all things you have to select already uh, there will be some drop downs uh, selecting the program selecting programming language operating system and you know application variety so i selected console application windows operating system and c sharp as the programming language then we went to .NET Core. So here you go and uh, write the pro project name as uh, C sharp underscore conditions. Okay, C sharp underscore or conditional underscore statement. Anything you can give. So I will give conditional underscore statement. Everybody knows it is C sharp. So conditional statements give the desktop because you want to save it in desktop and then click on create some sound is coming i'm just muting you guys if you want to speak you can unmute and speak so creating the project named as conditional statement taking a bit time so let's go to a program okay so one way is all the program I will write here itself, whatever we are planning today. Another way is I will write that program below somewhere here in a separate function and I will call that function inside the main function. So suppose my function name is static void function name let's say um, condition underscore one. That means first program in condition. Any name you can give. You can give if else also, no problem. First one is if else, so I will give if underscore else. Make sense? Don't give space. Okay. Space is not allowed. Underscore you can give. No special character should be given. Dash will not allow, but underscore will be allowed. So if underscore else. Then you can call this function here. Okay. Console dot read key. Initial level. So very slowly and steadily I'm going. You should, you know, understand it. If still not understandable, then please ask me. So we'll do debugging as well. So here, first step is what? Any program you are thinking, whether it is small, big or whatever. Very first thing, we have discussed about input processing output isn't it so in input part first thing is to reserve the memory location isn't it so we have to go to random access memory and reserve some memory location by declaring some variable so as per the question what should be our variable requirement you can see it is saying please accept marks from the user that means you understood that at least one marks has to be taken from the user then 50 or more than 50 that you have to check and take a decision so i am going to ask user please enter the marks or so so should i take integer marks if you want to take decimal you can take decimal like somebody wants to enter 95.79 possible so you can take decimal because in question we are not mentioning whether round number or with decimal accept or assign you see if it is accept then you have to say console dot write line read line if it is assign then you have to directly say some marks so our question is saying accept it from the user so should i say marks equal to you know console dot read line but before that i have to ask user please enter the marks so console dot write line enter marks marks equal to convert dot to what decimal because we are our variable is decimal then console dot read line okay 
I accepted the max from the user. It will store in max. Then I have to check a condition. Is it really greater than 50? Greater than or equal to 50? Okay. Is it really greater than or equal to 50? If yes, then you have to display his pass. So console dot write line pass. The student is pass. Else console dot write line fail. So that means I wrote pass also, I wrote fail also, but at a time any one line will be executed. That is important here by if else condition. Just like our English sentence, we do if one sentence, else one more sentence. So let's put a breakpoint here and see what we are thinking, whether it is behaving that way or not. So I put a breakpoint and calling this function here and running in the debug mode. So first I declared a variable, in SL of course it will be 0 because you have not entered anything, then it will ask user please enter the max. So he entered something like 76.59 for example, okay, 76.59. So then just a minute, I think some student joined and it closed after accepting it. Uh, is there any trouble? Uh, Akanksha, you are joining again and again. Are you facing any network issue? So, again I run it. It asked me enter the marks. So, I entered suppose anything 87.76 for example and press enter. So that max will go and sit in max. So that means it is saying in random access memory I took 87.76 and stored against the variable called max. Absolutely fine. Now it came to this one. Okay. So if you take the mouse here, you can see it is saying max greater than or equal to 50 is my expression. But out of whole expression, I am getting the answer as true. That is what we have written in the syntax, you can see. If it is true, then this statement should be executed. If that is false, then this statement should be executed. So it will come here and it will say this is true because really it is greater than or equal to 50. So it will come down and line number 23 will be executed. And line number 27 will not execute. That is also important point for us. It should not execute both the lines. So the moment I will press F10 again, you can see it will not go to line number 25, 26, 27, 28. It will directly come to line number 29. That is how the compiler flows in case of if else condition. Either this or that. That's why I say it as if else. Check it out. It is saying at start 87.7, then it is greater than or equal to 50. So it will pass. So, this way it is executing and then coming back to the main program and then console.read key. So, this is very simple condition, if else you understood. Now, let us go for some more than two condition. Somebody says, hey, I do not want simply pass and fail. I want, uh, you know, A grade, B grade, C grade, D grade, something like that. So, in that case, only one condition is not enough. You have to write multiple conditions in that case. So, how to write multiple conditions and con check the from top to bottom. That is called multi-level if-else condition. So, just let me take one small attendance and then we can proceed further. So, coming to one more program. So, one more program means no need to create one more project actually. You just go ahead here below this line you can see this function is starting from here going up to this 
so here you go and start writing program here so that curly bracket opening and closing have to mark so my first question started from here and ended here that means here i can start the second program so static void after one more class i will tell you about this static word guys so little bit it's related with class and object so after that i will tell you what is the meaning of static till then just follow it so static void my function name is multiple conditions or multiple if else like i said if he got more than 75 a grade if he got more than 60 b grade if he got more than 50 c grade if he got less than 50 d grade like that okay let me tell you about the comment comment is single line comment multiple line comment as well as summary comment or xml comment when we put double slash and write something that is called single line comment here we put usually most of times we will comment like this and we will call the second function just like this this is called single line comment this time i am going to put something called summary summary means it is also called xml comment so here i will start slash slash and slash okay so just before program so if somebody doesn't want to follow this uh, notepad he wants to directly execute that program at least inside program our question can be written under a summary just like this okay so this will not be compiled by compiler it will only for the information purpose similarly here i can do slash slash and slash okay so one more summary came so this is about second function summary what is the second function summary accept marks based on following conditions display the grade okay that means i will say if he got greater than or equal to 75 he should be a grade if he got greater than or equal to 60 he should be b grade question itself is saying what are all conditions so 50 or more c grade less than 50 then failed something like that condition is there suppose and you don't need to display only pass or fail you need to display grade as well if any so that case what you have to do is you have to again same accept the marks so this part is same for both the program so i will go here and is it breaking for everybody guys okay okay so for whom it is breaking actually akanksha for you window so just check maybe your bandwidth might be less than 10 mbps basically zoom runs better in uh, uh, minimum 10 mbps actually my side it is more than 100 mbps so i'm sure bandwidth related issue will not come but cross check uh, if you have less than 10 mbps by chance mainly when uh, you connect through ho mobile hotspot this kind of issue comes generally okay coming to here i will just copy paste this part okay why because first program and second program first part is same only here also i have to ask user please enter the marks but this conditional statement will be little different so that is called multi-level or multiple if else statement this one second one so statement syntax let me you know show you here then we can go and apply the program there so multi-level if else how to do syntax part nothing much difference almost similar so i'll write if condition same like before if condition number one I will write here condition 1, condition 2, condition 3 because we are talking about multi-level or multiple conditions. So here I said if condition number 1 is true, please display this sentence. So statement when 
condition 1 is true then I will go for else after else since this is not the last condition we have to go for something like if again okay either you write if along with that else or you write if below this else both are correct so I wrote along with this but with a space definitely you should not write without space else space if or else press enter then if both are correct so I said else space if one more condition so here I gave condition number two so if condition number two is true then this statement is supposed to executed so I will write here statement when condition number two is true but condition number one is false reason is if condition one could have been true then it could have been going inside this statement and executed it it could not have got a chance to come to this else statement at all so condition number two is true and important to say also in this situation condition number one is definitely false then only it will come and execute here same thing will repeat again and again imagine you have 10 condition else if else if else if will appear up to ninth condition tenth condition will be simple else so have a look I will say if condition number 3 is correct then statement when condition 3 is true and above conditions are false above means 1 and 2 ok above 1 and 2 conditions are false so like that it will go so for your understanding should I put dot dot in programming you no need to put dot dot but for your understanding I am just putting some dots that means same way you will proceed how many conditions are available in our case four conditions are there in our program A grade B grade C grade fail so like that you have to proceed finally if imagine none of the condition above is matching then it will come to else statement and here you can give some default statement saying that hey none of the above condition is matching are you entering something differently like somebody entered minus 20 okay so you have given condition 1 to 100 or so but they are giving minus 20 that means none of the condition will be satisfied obviously then it will come here and it will say statement when none of above condition will be satisfied none of the above condition will be satisfied so let's implement this in a program so come to visual studio we have already written the skeletal structure of the program so here what we have to do is we have to put one by one if else condition so if so as per our syntax condition number one I will start from 90 sorry 75 then let's take it 80 so 80 60 50 and then less than 50 so I will say if marks greater than or equal to 80 then okay this curly bracket little bit I will tell you about this curly bracket there is a concept if below this you are writing only one line then this curly bracket is optional guys this open curly bracket close curly bracket I am talking about only one line if you are writing below this if you are writing more than one line this is mandatory so already you have tried one with curly bracket so let's try one without curly bracket also what is there so I will say console dot write line a grade I can put curly bracket also I can leave curly bracket also why because I have only one sentence here if I'll give also no problem not give also no problem else if what is my second condition here you can see second condition is should be greater than or equal to 60 so I wrote if max is greater than 
are equal to 60 then console dot write line b grid now you came across some new parameters new operators can you see greater than or equal to okay so here i said if 60 or more then b grid this is called relational operator the one which we are talking yesterday less than greater than less than equal to greater than equal to not equal to double equal to so this kind of operators can only be used inside this kind of conditional statements that's why first i thought to teach you condition then we'll go back to that so no need to much understand now about relational operator everything will be implemented over there last two things one is called exclamation mark equal to that is not equal to one is called double equal to that is called comparison equal to not a sign equal to so a equal to 10 means a sign equal to 10 a double equal to b means compare a and b whether equal or not but this time we are using greater than or equal to everywhere so here you go and say else if max greater than or equal to 50 this space is uh, not mandatory if you are, can give space without space also possible so here you say c grid so i will copy paste this and i will write c grid now as per our question if you have already mentioned first condition second condition and third condition in simple else also i can put this condition right because if none of the above condition is matching his fail so i'll say here else console dot write line failed just read this and check it out is there anywhere you have confusion so i said simple else he failed negative mark or 20 mark 30 mark he is fail but only if greater than or equal to 50 he is pass i mean c grade then b grade and so on so let's put a breakpoint here and we'll debug it then if you have any confusion also you can get it clarified so neha your uh, sound is coming from background so i just muted you uh, so i'm calling this multiple if statement function here in the main function already you have called it so we will put a breakpoint here because we want to debug it and see where it is going first we will try something uh, like 67 okay we will see where it is going so debug it let it come there go for f10 f10 and f10 enter the max 67 i will enter okay so when i entered 67 as per our understanding logical understanding i assume it should go to line number 52 so first it will check condition number one definitely line number 50 whether really matching or not matching if you take the mouse it will say false because this condition is really not matching so if the condition is not matching then it will jump to second condition so if you press f10 it will come to second condition then you take the mouse here and check whether this condition is true or false you can see as per 67 marks your second condition is true so second condition true means what you are expecting it should go to line number 53 so if you press f10 now it will tell you that okay when i came from top to bottom first i checked with 80 it was not happening so i came to 60 it was happening so i came to line number 53 what about 50 and less than 50 guys this will say why should i go there i already got a solution so in line number 53 it will execute and then if you per further press f10 directly it will come to line number 61 that is what our understanding so then it will back to main and it will display the output like this so i might be having four or five outputs but out of four or five outputs only one output will show that is most important for us so based on condition check it and go to a specific condition as per the value and display it so that is called conditional statement so out of many condition whichever satisfied will display that 
सो ट्रू और फॉल्स ये और नो पास और फेल दैट काइंड ऑफ कंडीशंस यू विल से ओनली वन इफ एंड ओनली वन एल्स बट वेन यू से जस्ट नॉट ट्रू और फॉल्स रादर लॉट ऑफ कंडीशन विथ लॉट ऑफ सोल्यूशन देन हैव टू गो फॉर एल सिफ एल सिफ एल सिफ एल सिफ एज लॉन्ग एज योर कंडीशन इज नॉट फिनिशिंग एंड लास्ट कंडीशन विल बी ऑलवेज सिंपल एल्स इफ नॉन ऑफ एब इज मैचिंग ओके सो कंसेप्चुअली प्रोग्रामेटिकली लॉजिकली सिंटैक्टिकली एवरीथिंग क्लियर गैस एनी क्वेश्चन हियर गुड टू गो ऑल राइट सो कमिंग टू ऑपरेटर नाउ आउट ऑफ ऑपरेटर लिस्ट रिलेशनल ऑपरेटर एटलीस्ट वी सॉ शुड वी ट्राई विथ डबल इक्वल टू वन क्वेश्चन चेक इट आउट यू कैन गो फॉर ए क्वेश्चन विथ डबल इक्वल टू इफ बोथ आर इक्वल देन से दैट यू नो नंबर्स आर आइडेंटिकल आर इक्वल अदरवाइज से दैट नंबर्स आर नॉट इक्वल सो इट विल बी लाइक जस्ट लाइक एक्सेप्ट ए एक्सेप्ट बी एंड चेक वेदर ए इक्वल टू बी आर नॉट just like here i wrote okay rather let's go for logical operator uh when you say logical operator what does it mean logical operator means and condition double ampersand or condition double pipe not condition exclamatory mark meaning is if two condition i have imagine and someone is saying if both the condition will be satisfied then only thing should happen like here we checked about whether you have got the 60 mark 90 mark 70 mark like that imagine a condition is there it will say if you are having experience 5 years or more as well as you have a degree then you are selected for the job otherwise you are not selected for the job so that kind of situation where we are saying both the condition is matching then only condition is true if any one condition is not matching condition is false so that kind of situation where more than one condition has to be checked at a time before taking the decision we will go for these things so we will apply that and not or etc but yeah anybody is having any doubt i can see somebody has raised the hand rohini you have some question mm -hmm. that is in sql that is in sql so in c sharp we use exclamatory mark okay not simple see sir yes every programming they have on their own syntax so here we have not means exclamatory mark that is also treated as logical not okay negation if true it will make it false if it false it will make it true okay that is called negation operator or exclamatory mark windu you have some question not equal to okay uh, suppose i will say just like this let me go to the program quickly we'll make a program so static void let's say check not equal any name i'm giving just little similar to what we are trying so i want to say if a not equal to b display sentence saying that both are not equal okay if equal then you say that both are equal something like that you sentence you have to make you don't know what is the value of a and b suppose so what you did you said okay integer a comma b and you ask user value of a and value of b so console dot write line enter a value then you said a equal to console dot read line this part is same as i wrote above but here i will say convert dot to integer instead of decimal because i have taken this time integer so same thing i will copy paste once more 
to get the value of b okay now idea is i don't know what user is going to enter but i want to take some decision when both are equal i want to take some other decision when both are not equal okay so here i can say if a not equal to b nothing special actually same only whatever condition you apply you apply it here that's it so if this condition is true that means really not equal whatever you want to do do it here inside this curly bracket so what do you want to do here i don't have much things to do i will just display sentence called a and b are not equal each other so console dot write line you can say a and b are not equal in this situation and l situation i will say a and b both are exactly equal a and b are equal so let's put a breakpoint here and see what it is doing i mean it is simply fails only nothing much complication in this so i will go and call this function and put a breakpoint i'll remove this breakpoint first it'll ask me a and b value sorry i didn't change that sentence called a to b so here you have to change it to b so enter value of a enter value of b like that you are accepting from the user and uh, suppose first time i entered 67 for a and i entered 90 for b tell me not equal to b will be true or false who can say line number 71 no no my question is line number 71 will give me true or give me false true absolutely so if it is true then which sentence is supposed to execute line number 73 don't you think that is what our conditional statement says so if i'll press f10 it will go to line number 73 so let me click here and press f10 you can see it is going to line number 73 and it will never go to line number 77 that means at the whole it will say yes both are equal sorry a and b both are not equal that is what my first sentence all about now again i will run suppose and this time i will say here also 60 there also 60 suppose a is also 60 b is also 60 now you tell me line number 71 will give what false obviously have a look if you take the mouse it will give false because actually they are not satisfying this condition so if not satisfying this condition because both are equal so where it will go it should go to else statement so simply press f10 it will go to else statement that means out of both sentences it is going to display only one sentence either they are equal or they are not equal so it display this time yes yes both are equal because you entered 60 and 60 make sense so like this you can apply any condition along with the if now let's try for two condition at a time okay you can see operator list we have two condition at a time and so a and d and we say it in english but in c sharp we write double am present so ultimately we are learning these operators but since they are all related to conditional statement so we are implementing them in a conditional statement so let's create a question taking this double am present into account so question is something like this uh, let me take example question number 3 uh heading i will give uh, using multiple condition and checking them at a time 
that is important otherwise multiple condition we have given above also in this this is condition number one this is condition number two this is condition number three but at a time we are not checking multiple condition first i am checking condition number one if not happening i am going to condition number two if not happening i am going to condition number three that is called at a time checking only one condition but this time we want multiple condition i will check but at a time i will check if this is happening as well as that is happening then only satisfying so question is accept marks chalo we will take something like experience experience and qualification okay experience and qualification uh with qualification within qualification i will write a small hints for you whether the candidate has a degree that means we will ask user do you have a degree yes or no something like that okay true or false uh and the situation is like only if both condition are satisfying for example experience should be more than something like five or more as well as qualification is degree then only say you are selected okay otherwise that means any one condition is not satisfying also you have to say you are not selected so otherwise say you are not selected okay otherwise say you are not selected how to do this first of all i have to check in if condition itself two to condition whether you have a degree whether your experience is more than 5 so see how i am doing in the program so come to our program we'll write one more program here named as static void uh multiple conditions at a time or should i write using and condition here i cannot write double ampersand because this is the name of the function you cannot use special character like has dollar etc okay so you have to write and and this is name of the function but while writing the actual symbol you have to write double ampersand for that so inside that i will write something like this um integer experience okay i have to ask how much experience you have you have a degree or not having a degree you can solve it in two, two different way you can take a string variable you can take a boolean variable also if you are taking boolean variable you have to exactly type t r u e or f a l a c like that if you are taking a string variable you can write d e g r e degree or not a degree yes or no one or two zero or one anything you can write so i will take a string to give better flexibility because boolean means it will take only t r u e or f a l a c other than that it will not take so i will go for a string something like qualification okay no need to write fully qualification i can go for q also or q a a l also no problem now it is time to ask user to enter his qualification degree or not having a degree so console dot write line if you have a degree type y e s otherwise type no a no simply you gave some instruction to him and you said uh, q u a l equal to console dot right line read line this time similarly i will say console dot write line 
enter experience and I will say exp equal to console dot read line but here it will show one error and we have to fix it what error type casting error that means read line has to accept like a string but it is integer unfortunately so you have to say convert dot to integer okay so that's it we ex accepted the data from both experience as well as qualification now it is time to check so if if you understood the syntax and you know question correctly don't you think at a time we have to check two two condition qualification will be degree as well as experience will be five years so should i write like this if qualification double equal to will check here why because i want to say exactly equal to yes then only i will allow y e s then i will give a space and say double ampersand means and in english we say as well as right in programmatical form we say double ampersand so if qualification equal to yes as well as experience greater than or equal to five check it out if you are understanding question and understanding your answer accordingly should i put this question over there whatever this question so just copy it and put it there as a summary and here you can put three three slash every line after copy pasting so if you want to press enter you can press enter here also so better always to give some comments at the top so that if any other new developer is checking he can read this and understand what exactly program is written below so check it out are you understanding this line why i put double ampersand so i'm checking at a time both the condition if qualification also yes yes means you have a degree and experience also greater than or equal to five then it will come inside this so here can i write console dot write line you are selected make sense else i will say you are not selected so let's put a breakpoint here and understand how it is behaving so did i call this function here i don't think so so copy this function name and call it in the main function i hope this part you are understanding whenever you write multiple programs each program you are writing in a separate function right so whichever program currently you want to run that program you have to call it here other program you can just comment it like this so that compiler will not execute this function this function or this function directly it will execute this function all right so if you are executing this function then suddenly from line number 15 your compiler will jump to line number 90 because that is the exact function where it is happening so in line number 91 i can have a breakpoint or directly i can put a breakpoint in line number 101 also because these are nothing to check it is simple accepting the data no condition nothing you can ignore it for breakpoint but breakpoint you can put directly in 101 what do you mean by breakpoint breakpoint means i want to stop compiler there and i want to go line by line by cross checking which line what is happening right so let's do the debugging here so first it will ask if you have a degree please type yes otherwise please type no so what should i do here let's go for a positive test first okay every unit test will have positive test and negative test so when we are testing a program correct or not go for both of this so first i will go for positive test means i will give some positive value which will satisfy the condition i give y e s okay Th that means i do have a degree then i press enter then it is asking experience 
फाइव इयर्स एक्सपीरियंस मीन आई पुट एट बिकज यू आर डुईंग साटिस्फाइड वाला कंडीशन सो यस एज वेल एज एक्सपीरियंस एट एंटर हुर इट विल गो अबियली आफ्टर आस्किंग द डेटा यू कैन चेक क्वालिफिकेसन इज ये एंड ये मीन ये डिग्री एंड एक्सपीरियंस इज एट इयर्स सो इफ यू चेक इंडिपेडेंटली दिस इट विल से ट्रू इफ यू चेक इंडिपेडेंटली दिस दिस विल ऑल्सो ट्रू इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चेक बोथ द कंडीशन यू टेक द माउस हियर ओके मिडल वाला ऑपरेटर डबल ऑपरेशन सो कैन यू सी इट इज सेइंग है व्हेन वी आर चेकिंग बोथ कंडीशन एट ए टाइम देन ओवरऑल दिस कंडीशन इज ट्रू बिकॉज दिस इज आल्सो सैटिस्फाइंग दिस इज आल्सो सैटिस्फाइंग देन व्हाट वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग इट शुड गो टू लाइन नंबर वन जीरो थ्री सो एफ टेन एफ टेन एफ टेन सो लाइन जब वन जीरो थ्री एक्जीक्यूटेड ना डू यू थिंक इट विल एक्जीक्यूट वन जीरो फाइव वन जीरो सिक्स वन जीरो सेवेन नो इट विल डायरेक्टली गो टू वन जीरो नाइन वाई बिकॉज वन कंडीशन सैटिस्फाइव मीन्स अदर वन विल बी डेफिनेटली फॉल्स सो आउटपुट कैम यू आर सिलेक्टेड ना लेट्स ट्राई सेम विथ ए नेगेटिव टेस्ट ओके सो रन इट इन ए डिपक मोड एंड एंटर समथिंग नेगेटिव वैल्यू नेगेटिव वैल्यू मीन्स आई डोंट हैव ए डिग्री इधर I don't have experience either five years, or maybe both of them are not there. That is a negative test. So, first time I will go for I don't have a degree, but I do have some ten years experience. Okay, this is also as per our understanding, it should not satisfy because and means any one is false, it is false. So let's see what it is doing for us. So if you take the mouse to qualification condition. It is saying, "Hey, this is false." If I take the mouse to experience condition, it is saying, "Hey, this is true." If I are taking the mouse to and, that means overall, it will say overall it is false. Why? Because any one condition not satisfying means you are failed or you are not selected. So it will say overall it is false. If overall it is false, then where we are expecting to go? It should go to. Else part as per our understanding. So if I'll press F10 this time, it will go to else part. It will say, "Hey, you are not selected. Something is wrong. Maybe your qualification is not matching, or your experience is not matching. My chance is there. So it will say you are not selected." Now let's go for one more condition where degree is also not correct and experience is also not correct. Something like that. so i said no for degree i said 2 years for experience what will happen first one also false second one also false overall it will be false then also it will go to not selected part so output is you are not selected in this also that means just like our you know logical conditions uh Uh, you know in electronic circuit similarly here also we follow logical conditions just like this so when we say true with true 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 with false 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 with true false that means overall false false with false overall it is false so only when both the condition are satisfying then overall it will satisfy so keeping this in mind we have to understand that when which particular statement will be executed now suppose somebody says no no i don't want to check and and means both condition satisfy then only it will be correct any one condition satisfy suppose i want to say correct for example some jobs will come if you have a degree we don't care about experience you come it is a fresher job but if you have two years experience by the way you have not completed degree that also fine for us you come right if that is the case then instead of and double ampersand you have to use double pipe here that's it in keyboard you have a pipe symbol right 
two times you have to type that that is called or condition so what will happen in this case if i will use or condition instead of and condition it will say either this or this any one condition is satisfying it will say you are selected but as per our question it is demanding and condition from us because question says only if both condition are satisfying then only you are selected any doubt guys any confusion here all good Gino you have any question on this you have raised the hand uh-huh no both are not same totally opposite okay nested if you have not done so when we will do nested if you will see totally different both are different okay so mm -hmm. yeah double, double code yeah always string will be in double code okay so when you are typing on the program always string will be in double code character will be in single code there is a single character data type c h a r char right that will be in single code but if it is string it should be in double code all right uh, so we have more things to see also uh, next class what we will see is we will try to use ternary operator one negation symbol is there if overall it is satisfying how to make negation of this so that also we'll see and ternary operator we will apply in another condition after that we will go for few more conditional statement what we discussed here one is nested condition one is switch case condition okay then combination of multiple with some special programs we will do so that we will do next class so let me stop recording